Hey Taurus, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for your current energy. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. All right, so we have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. I feel like right now there is a connection um, or some sort of um, longing for, for something here that is really starting to maybe feel overwhelming. It's like there's either a connection, a relationship, or this desire um, that is growing here for someone that really seems to almost stand the test of time. It's almost like someone is saying, I don't care how long it takes or I don't care what it takes, I'm going to still be there and I'm still going to wait for this to happen. I feel like someone's heart is literally on their sleeve because it's almost like any moment that they have the chance to use it, right, to um, show you how they feel or tell you how they feel. It's like someone really is trying to um, make their way towards you with that emotion. And I feel like, you know, of course, we are nearing Valentine's Day. So maybe, you know, the energy of love is just very much overflowing um, in the cosmos, you know, but I do feel though that there's definitely a partnership, a relationship or some sort of union uh, between you and another person that seems to be very, very important. And I also feel like some of you could be at a great distance between this person, um, where that's kind of the factor that is influencing this feeling or this emotion the most. Because something about this is saying, if you two were closer, would it feel the same? I feel like the universe is saying it's, it doesn't. It doesn't feel the same because of the distance. It doesn't feel the same because of the time spent apart or the time of no communicating. It's like there's a lack of... Um, continuous um you know connection between the two of you i feel like in the 3d you know there's almost like a lot of gaps in between you and this person being able to see each other talk to each other connect and so i think that that's creating this really big feeling of well when i do see them it's going to explode right i'm gonna feel so much we have the king of cups the wheel of fortune Four of Wands and the Eight of Cups. So again, it's kind of like there's all of these energies surrounding, well, once I get there, right? That Four of Wands is kind of crossing that finish line. It's, you know, kind of like that honeymoon energy. It's like you are at this point where you are, um, you know, commemorating and honoring and celebrating this connection, this ability to say that we've made it this far. Wheel of Fortune is that someone is really anticipating that this happens. They they are expecting for this to happen. Their wish fulfillment is to be with you, right? To have this new beginning, to have this future. And then the King of Cups is, of course, you know, all of those emotions. You know, the King of Cups does not shy away from being honest. Um, the King of Cups do not, does not shy away from being romantic and being emotional and being vulnerable. And I feel like someone is so ready to be vulnerable that they almost don't know how they're going to contain that if the distance continues. So it's very powerful. It's coming through so powerful, so strong. Um, so I wonder if this is you or the person that you're connecting to, but it feels though that for some of you, it's shared. Like this lovers is saying there's a mirroring situation here, right? Someone is matching the other person's energy, but I'm not sure if both of you know that, or I'm not sure if, you know, maybe there's someone involved in this situation that really doesn't understand um, just how much the other person actually cares. In fact, maybe someone even is assuming that they are the only one, but let's see, let's clarify the eight of cups. All right, so the first card that fell here was the Nine of Pentacles, and at the bottom of the deck is the Fool. You know, it's interesting because even though this Eight of Cups is coming through, it just really, to me, is the distance. It's not about someone walking away. It's not about someone feeling like it's necessary to be that far away from each other. It's more like that's just the circumstances right now. Maybe you are in a long-distance relationship, right? Maybe you have no other choice but to be connected to someone through you know, this very big, um, you know, time apart. And it feels like the fool is that even though that's happening, someone is going to go out of their way or take a leap of faith towards this connection so that it does 
shorten the amount of time spent apart. So this could be that maybe someone that you're connecting to at this time is traveling to see you. Maybe you're traveling to see them. Uh, maybe you and this person are making some sort of plan so that you can spend more time with each other, even though there is some significant dis distance. It's like there's an energy of teamwork here. And now that I'm seeing this, it's, it's actually coming through quite clearly as well. We have the Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Not only is this person here to say, you know, let's work this out. I'm willing to meet you halfway. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, they're also fighting for this connection as well. Some of you could even be in a relationship where it's because of the circumstances around you two or the, or the um, situations that are in your environment that could be causing this distance. So for some of you, um, and this may not resonate with all, but it feels like there's something in between you and this person. Like maybe your, your I don't know, your parents or your family, right, doesn't approve or something along those lines. It feels like the Seven of Wands is somebody saying, I don't care what they think or I don't care what's in between us. I'm going to fight for this. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And so this Three of Pentacles, though, is also important because it feels like there could be some work related things going on as well. Maybe you know this person through work. Maybe you and this person are working together to find a way to make it easier for the distance to not be a thing anymore. And so I feel like the nine of pentacles is then the fact that someone is not only doing this, but they're confident in that it's going to work. Someone is also putting so much of their own resources into this. Uh, financial investments, energy investments, time investments, right? There is no lack of... Um, you know, inspiration and motivation here. There is an abundance of motivation to make this possible. Um, so yeah, this is absolutely amazing. This is actually incredibly poetic and romantic when you really think about it, because I feel like this is maybe about um, love with boundaries, right? Sometimes that happens. And it's not until we have those boundaries that we're able to fully appreciate what it's like to be, you know, together without them. All right, let's clarify the Wheel of Fortune. The hanged man. Someone feels stuck here. It seems that someone does feel limited in their ability to move things along faster. And I do sense a sense, like a type of frustration, but it's a calm frustration because I don't think that this person, whether it's you or whoever you're connecting to, I don't feel that they, they are lacking hope. It's just more like that sense of, well, I don't know how fast this can move forward. It's just keeping them in this hanged man mode where they're just like, well, I guess I'll have to wait right? It's just that that kind of solemn frustration. But to further clarify the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Page of Wands, Knight of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So I feel like what this is saying is that eventually some, you know, there will be a plan, some way or form, right? There's going to be um, an ability for you and this person to connect, right? Have that, uh, that time for love, and so this Knight of Cups is that opportunity showing up and the Six of Wands is confirmation that it is going to be successful. So a lot of you right now could be in a situation where you think there is no hope. You may think that there is no chance that this will ever work. And in fact, that Nine of Swords right behind the Hanged Man says somebody does not have hope here. Um, but still, there's so much evidence to say that there is a great possibility that this does work out somehow in the end because someone is not giving up. Um, I also feel like this could be about a situation where maybe you had a wish fulfillment or some sort of dream or manifestation, maybe not related to love specifically in romantic form. Maybe this is about your passion for something. It feels like some of you are thinking, I don't know if this is ever going to happen. And then slowly but surely, I feel like the universe has been proving to you that your wheel is turning and things are going in your favor. And as you come up with one solution, that solution brings in another one. And then it becomes this cascade of really helpful things that are happening to make you feel confident about your ability to attract this into your life with ease. So, yeah, just so, so much positivity and uh, reassuring here. Um, let's clarify the Four of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's still a sense of denial or even it's more like skepticism. Someone is still skeptical that this is going to happen. And, you know, I think that that's normal, right? I think that we are allowed to be skeptics in our own life, especially when we have 
or are in a situation where there's constant um, obstacles and challenges in our way. However, it does seem though that some of this is stemming from a personal place. Some, someone is fearing that this is not going to work out because of their own perception of themselves. And so I feel like Taurus, you may be connecting to a person here that has some very real things going on within them that is creating maybe even the biggest distance between the two of you aside from the physical distance that is already there. So there could be multiple ways that this relationship is being um, you know, affected by limitation, whether it's a limitation of perspective, location, or time. It feels like something is very much um, creating a sense of defeat here. So we have the Queen of Wands, the Empress, and the Devil, which is Capricorn. I feel like this this card right here, the Devil, is definitely kind of bringing up all of the things that someone is worried about that they think are going to get in the way of this relationship if it were to kind of take off. And then I feel like the Queen of Wands and the Empress is that divine feminine, feminine maternal, unconditional love. It's like someone is just wanting to have the chance to prove that all of these things that you're worried about are not even relevant when it comes down to what it is the two of you are trying to build together. It's almost like someone is just wanting the opportunity to comfort you, reassure you, and give you that feeling of unconditional, you know, acceptance. Um, and so it's interesting because someone is hopeful, but some somehow still in denial about themselves and maybe how they're able to make this possible. But Really beautiful messages here for you, Taurus. If you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.